With this Bob Marley Redemption Song guitar lesson, we'll show you how to play the complete song on acoustic guitar. With guitar tabs, chord diagrams, and a guitar karaoke practice video, we'll cover it all with a step-by-step approach. The opening melody has a bunch of single note riffs, and how I go about it is I take the fretting hand and place it down as if we're playing an open G chord, and by doing that, we align our fingers with the first finger aligned along the second fret and the middle finger aligned along the third fret. We're going to focus on pretty much these two fingers for the complete intro. And with that, let's start with the first four notes uh, to be on that bottom string third fret. Uh, if you're looking at the tab, I'll call off the uh, fret numbers as we play the notes. Three, then next string, zero, two, and then down to that first note again, the third fret. And then we just shift the fingers over like so. So we're going from the sixth string to the fifth string now. And the next set of four notes, three, two, zero, down to two on the fifth string. Now we'll play it from the beginning, the first eight notes. Then, the next four notes, we'll do that again, and then we end with a five note riff, all on that fifth string, two, three, two, zero, down to three, and I'll play that riff again. So let's put together all four sections. We'll do it from the beginning. Slow walk through. One, two, ready, go. Pretty much that melody will repeat again, uh, but you can throw in some slides if you want. If you look at the tab, you'll see in the next section when we repeat everything, you can throw in a little slide. Um, I believe on the original recording, he's playing the same notes we're showing you, but more so on the bottom string. So there's a little bit more of a sliding effect you'll hear, uh, but this is an easy way uh, to learn the opening riff, it keeps your fretting hand, like I said, steady in position. Because as we go into the next section, we're going to go to a G chord. So finally, let's put it all together, uh, the complete opening riff, and we'll play it uh, twice through. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. much a little variation on the second time around. Forgot to mention that earlier. If you play that 23203, two, three, uh, no one will know the difference, but uh, to follow the original recording, a little variation on those last four. For the first section, we'll warm up by going through the initial progression with the one strum approach, and we'll also introduce you to the chord shapes, which will be an open G, an open E minor, then a C, a G slash B, and an open A minor. And this progression is played three consecutive times. And then the fourth time, we throw in a variation. It'll start off the same. G, E minor, C, G, B. And then we substitute a D for the open A minor on that last chord. Next, we'll focus on the strum patterns, and all of these strum patterns are going to be suggested strum patterns, uh, because if you listen to the original Bob Marley recording of Redemption Song, the strumming is kind of loose. That's part of the charm of the song. 
So what we're going to show you is just a way to help you sort of fall into it. And then as you get more acclimated to it, you're going to throw in your own variation. So starting with that G, the strum will be down, down, up, up, down. And we'll do that one more time. Down, down, up, up, down. Then we'll do the same on E minor. go to the C and the G slash B, we're going to shorten it up a little bit. Down, up, down, and then same on the G slash B. Down, up, down, and then the A minor will return back to the initial strum. Down, down, up, up, down. So I'll back it up to that C, put that together. And we'll do that again. Put it together from the beginning. Slow walk through. One, two, ready, go. Now again, this initial progression is played three consecutive times. And then uh, that fourth time around, when we throw in the D as a substitute for A minor. Uh, there's going to be some variations because there's an extra measure of D thrown in. Again, that sort of leads into the chorus. And uh, let's show you how to go about strumming that. So this is the fourth section of the verse. It'll start the same. And then here comes the D. And then, as we sort of rev into the verse, there's an extra measure of D, and a lot of ways you can play it, you barely hear it in the background, but I would suggest to start all down strums. So backing it up to the D, uh, both measures of D. And we'll put that together again, the final section of the verse. the strum pattern down, the next step is to focus on timing or syncing lyrics with the chord changes. And we're going to go back to the one strum approach, starting with that first G down strum. That's going to land on the first syllable of pirates. So uh, the first step is old pirates. And we're going to go through line one. We're going to continue on and just take note of what syllables land on what chord changes. So we'll do a slow walkthrough and show you how that'll sound. From the top, it'll go, Old Pirates, yes they rob I, sold I to the merchant ships, minutes after. And note on that second G down strum, minutes is delayed. It doesn't happen right on the G. And we'll go through that one more time, a little bit quicker. Old pirates, yes they rob I, sold I to the merchant ships, minutes. And then with that, you might have a good sense on how to time the rest of the lyrics and chord changes. And in fact, you can work on that in the next clip. We're going to go through the complete verse section uh, with the strum pattern. Uh, that'll be the next challenge, next step up syncing the lyrics with the strum pattern. You can do that with the next clip for all of verse 1.
The chorus is a three chord progression that's played five consecutive times and it's basically a G and then a C D progression with the exception of the middle time we do it. The third time around we substitute E minor for the G. And the strum pattern for the chorus starting with the G will be down, down, up, up, down, and then down up down down up down a little bit quicker on the CD transition. We'll back that up. Down down up up down down up down down up down down. And then the third time there's a substitution. Now you notice on that last D, as you get a little bit quicker at it, um, you might add an extra strum. Uh, on the CD transition. Here's what I mean. Down, down, up, up, down. So from that down strum, you might do this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Especially when you start singing long and speeding it up, you will add in little extra micro strums. So one note there. And speaking of syncing up with the lyrics, that's what we'll do with the next clip. Uh, we'll do a complete review of the chorus with the strum pattern. You can also work on syncing up the lyrics as well. Verse 2 guitar wise will be the same as verse 1 just with different lyrics and then for the second chorus uh, that will be pretty much the same except we extend the second chorus uh, one extra progression uh, GCD progression uh, with an added vocal line redemption songs so uh, the only real thing to focus on uh, with the next two sections verse 2 and the second chorus will be syncing the lyrics with the verse 2 chord progression. So with the next clip uh, you can focus on doing that, syncing the lyrics with the chords to verse 2. For the middle guitar break or the bridge section, we're going to repeat a three chord progression, E minor, C to D. We're going to play that four consecutive times and there's sort of a uh, staccato-like rhythm applied here. Um, how I like to go about it is with all down strums. So with that E minor, and then went to the C. on the first uh, progression, uh, first time through. For the remaining uh, other three, I like to kind of rev up on the E minor. With a little quick down up down. So let's put that together. We'll do a slow walkthrough of this middle section. One, two, ready, and. That's just a suggested way to go through this section. Um, as long as you got that sort of muted effect, it'll work fine. And then after that bridge section, we lead into verse 3.
Verse 3 will have the same progression as verse 2, and the same goes for the lyrics and vocals on verse 3. Uh, aside for some exclamations that you can hear on the original recording, uh, pretty much verse 3 repeats verse 2, and that leads us to the final chorus and ending of the song. Uh, the final chorus uh, features the same chord progression. Uh, there's some variations with the lyrics, and it's extended a bit. Uh, we're going to review that all in the next clip, but before we do that, I just want to go over the song's ending. And the ending, uh, shown, uh, if you look at the graphic on the screen, it'll be that last progression starting with the G. Uh, we'll start with the G going down, down, up, up, down. Very similar to what we did in the verse, C to G, B. And then we go to D, and for the rhythm on D, the strum pattern on D, uh, we sort of revert back to that staccato-like rhythm we did for the song's middle break. And pretty much just think staccato-like, all down strums, revving it up. Uh, there's no real exact way to play it. Um, as long as you get that right feel, it's going to sound fine. And then we switch to D7. I'll back it up. We'll put the two D uh, chords together. Again, there might be a slight variation, but here's the gist of it. With that, in the next clip, we're going to review the song's final chorus, and with that, you can also focus on syncing the lyrics with the chord changes. Once you have each section down, the final step is to put together a complete arrangement or performance of the song. And you can do that along with my Redemption Song Karaoke video. And with that video, you can either practice singing along with Redemption Song Karaoke, playing guitar with Redemption Song Karaoke, or doing both.